Onivia, League of Legends highlights. And, well, the ultimate, which you can't cast if he's grounded, but Tenacity works, so it's yeah. not that bad. You usually have Tenacity anyway. I really like the Renata pick here as well. I mean, if you're if you're expecting EG to be playing pretty heavily dive, you know, Nautilus Alt, one of these carries. Dive. here with Abadaga. Nothing too, nothing too impressive here. Obviously, the Gnarl's being used for trading advantage. Like I said, sustain is really important. Mm -hmm. you're, you're literally using that ult as a trading tool for, for more sustain difference. Oh, oh, baby. oh, Jojo, you might be in some trouble, buddy. Abadaga takes him down to about 100 HP, but inspired walking through a ward as he comes up to escort Private Jojo oh. home. You get for chasing him out of this lane yeah. twice, right? Yes, it does feel bad. You talked about like the Gangplank Ultimate not being able to get it. Jojo walking away with 50 HP. Yes, it feels bad, but at least you are getting that EXP advantage, that reward in some aspect. And there it is, Abadaga level 11. As soon as he gets it, as soon as he gets the chance, he goes right in. Beautiful over the wall, and first blood to the Emperor of Shariva. Of course, he was coming in. They go in, they get him the knock in. They aren't able to land, actually, the Viego stun. It was pretty well played from Jojo. You're not 100% committed to fighting to the death if all of their members it's are there. It's pretty good, apparently. No, it, it, it's in. looking great. This is what I mean. Like, they, they investigate, and because they didn't put enough members on the Herald... Oh, never mind. Oh. This is going to be a full-on fight. 100 Thieves might have took the Herald, but they can't get to the eye. Evil Genius has come in, and they're going to find the first kill on the Closer. 100 Thieves yeah, looking here. to get anything back, but Danny's made his way into the fight, and he jumps in with a killer instinct. Jojo grabs a kill on Sunday, well, there is and he are done. FBI is going to be taken very low. Danny nearly dead. Danny grabbing the kill, but Danny dying now. Abadaga jumps back oh. in. Abadaga takes oh. him out. Who oh, he's going to keep him alive. And Pro player, jungler to a cheerleader after you die, you know, in the middle of the game. <laughs> hey, somebody's got to be in the front line. Yeah. Uh, so what's really interesting about this game is 100 Thieves draft has way too much damage. We're trading sides right now. Vulcan's looking for a dive bot lane. As they're All going, right. Let's see. I don't know if they have damage to kill this guy. Yeah, I don't think they, they do, by the way. Someday just seems completely unimpressed, unafraid, unaffected, or is he? It'll be a one for one, but a two for one now as Abadaga's gonna clean up the side of fries that came with that main dish. Oh, he's taking the one Now I got closer oh, looking this. for Danny. Danny's gonna have a tough time with it. Closer going right uh, back in there with the a heartbreaker, gets the stun. Danny did his best. I mean, I guess we'll see how, okay, they're gonna TP back in to try to hold this mid lane tier one, but things are getting rough for EG. And they try to pull off that dive bot side, that gets thwarted. Top lane, they are gonna take that tier one, but Abadaga is pushing in the bot lane and no one's here to answer this. They're also setting up for the dragon, so it looks like everything is kind of going in 100 Thieves' favor. 100%, 100 Thieves' favor. Please just go quick blades. <laughs> it, it gives you still the crit chance. Gangplank's crit, crit scaling is absolutely disgusting. It's like the best scaling, crit chance scaling champion in Drake Pit. They're the ones that only have a single Drake to their name, so Evil Genius is yeah. saying, all right, this isn't that good of a fight. We have no flash on our AD no carry. Mega, just That's the type of communication you're going to be trying to pull, where you're trying to focus on where do we draw our last breath. As Ronaldo comes down for the mid tower, it's a zoning ultimate very much so. Jojo oh. might get caught. Yeah, Jojo at about half HP. Closer got to be a little careful himself now as he heartbreakers back. He comes in. The impact coming around from the Omega, flight, though. but he's got no bar. What is he going to do from this angle? He's taken incredibly low. Closer coming in there for the stun. Gangplank Looking at Abadag is playing down. Someday's not going to... He's really not going to be tanky at all. So he spent all of his gold that he gathered farming in the side lane, trying to be a tank but ultimately just getting one shot by Azir and Zeri. Well, they're looking for this play. Yeah. No TP on Jojo, so he's very disconnected. Impact's really going in here, looking for the enemy support. Who he's going to be taking low with the bailout? Might be able to save him. They can't get the kill in time. Vulcan takes kill number one here for this fight, but 100 Thieves are still looking to find something in return. Run. Nice interrupt there on the Steadfast Presence. Abadaga jumping in. Seeing if maybe he can grab one of these guys. Vulcan's the sacrificial lamb. Abadaga is godlike. Support for support. One for one trade. But 100 Thieves aren't done. Closer with the Worth Baron, they have enough health. EG has some really low health bars there. Inspire went back to base to heal up. FBI gets charmed. Oh, oh FBI getting out of the CC, and it's going to be Impact who pays the price. Danny's in the back line, and Danny grabs the enemy AD, but he dies too. Jojo Pyun, he gets caught out. Closer's grabbing the kill on that one. 100 Thieves. Three. Think at the very end, snipes FBI, but it's just not enough. Someday has too much damage. Abadagi has too much damage. Like, there's still too many threats on this composition, and that's going to secure 100 Thieves. He's, he's a full item ahead of Jojo. He's oh, just yeah. so far ahead. Two levels up, full item up. He's he's having a game of his life, honestly. Like this is straight up what you want your Azir to be, right? Mm -hmm. You want yeah. to be a monster DPS burst machine. Like at this point, he's a burst champion. 
It's it's been a pretty incredible mid gap this game. Oh, Abadaga now trying to get back to safety. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. Bailout coming out. Ooh. Abadaga can't stay alive through that one, but they barely keep Danny on the board. Who he's gonna be taking low, but it's already two members of hundred thieves of EG, excuse me, that have bit the dust. The remaining three try to get out, but who he closer and someday continue the chase. Closer's got the stolen Gnar body still, not gonna find the boomerang there. Bottom lane, the minion wave's already in position. Hundred thieves are gonna get two inhibitors off of that one. We're gonna see if they're gonna look for an end here. It's a potential angle in my opinion, but uh, they might just play it safe because they feel mm -hmm. good. No, no, there it is. They're gonna look for the TP with the 0 and 25. So the thing is, this is gonna be a straight up 4v3 until everyone respawns, Powers and then it's a 5v5. Yup, first next one turret. Power. It's already gone, my friends. Who he, the only one low. The other 300 Thieves players all at max HP here for this one. Inspired, Danny and Vulcan have got to try to keep these guys away however they can, but it is so damn difficult. Vulcan now having to back up. Inspired having to back up. He goes back in. The Nexus is under fire, but Vulcan's dead first. Inspired and Danny try to fight, but fight they won't. And it's 100 Thieves putting the second law on EG's record. A huge win for 100 Thieves. Very well controlled game.